Whiskey threatens British rapper Tini Temper and Dumi on Snapchat. Let's get into that. Alright guys, if you all can remember, um, Whiskey signed a management deal with Disturbing London, a UK-based platform. Yeah, so however, let's jump right in. Let's jump. Why did Whiskey threaten to British citizen? Um, Whiskey threatens Dumi Ugrota and British rapper Tini Temper on Snapchat. I think his deal with Disturbing London is related to this and I'm going to be telling you how it is related and why it threatens them in the first place. Let's get into that. Alright guys, um, on November 26, 2020, Nigerian superstar Whiskey um, took to his Snapchat page to publish a set of threatening messages at Dumi Ugrota and British rapper Tini Temper, like I said earlier. Crazy, right? This is really wow. Like, anyways, he also made claims that both of them were gay. Yeah, he also made claims. I'm gonna show you all the all the Snapchat message he sent out. All right. All right, guys. This is the Snapchat tweets, as y'all can see. Um, so guys, the Snapchat message reads: Looking for these two criminals, Tini and. Do me well he, he called them criminals life on snapchat and that's that has to mean they did something really bad and i'm gonna be telling you guys what they did that made him call them that criminals so um this is not the only snapchat message they are others and okay moving on so guys this is the second snapchat message and yeah it, this is the place where he made um, a claim that both of them are gay. Yeah, as you can see what the same thing, I can't read it out because I might get um, a ban from YouTube. So this is it and this is the claim that two of them are gay. <laughs> Funny, right? So guys, this is the Tord Snapchat message and y'all can read what is in it um, on site for you. It's actually, this is actually sounds like a threat don't you think so so guys on the other snapchat message whiskey um, posted a picture of tiny temper and gave him a direct threat like he said pussy boy i'm coming for you this sounds more like a threat don't you think so i'm still going to tell you guys what Dumi and tiny did to whiskey that made him start reacting like this so guys, after all these Snapchat threats and messages, Whiskey then went to Twitter and made some threats to Tini. I'm gonna read that to you now. So the tweet says, at Tini, yo pussy boy, pray I don't catch you and do me. Wow, <laughs> this is this is definitely a threat, yeah. Pray I don't catch you and do me. I'm sure you all can read this. What do you think about this? So guys, like I said earlier, I'm going to be telling you the reason why Whiskey is putting out these threats. Um, so why is Whiskey threatening to British citizens? That's the big question now. Okay guys, some of y'all know that Whiskey signed a management deal with Disturbing London, a UK based platform. But six years down the line, all seems to be going down. A deal built on trust and African brotherhood seems to be up in the air. So it seems the stubborn London ripped whiskey. Yeah. So it's like um the stubborn London cheated whiskey in some way. So I'm gonna read this out. Um other stones that ticked off whiskey is a gig with Nike in December. One he thought to be free and unknowing to him, Nike allegedly paid the stubborn London about 250000 pounds few of the many reasons Whiskey proceeds their tie as criminal operation. Whiskey was with Tini in Milan where they walked the runway at the men's fashion week modeling for ace designers Dulce and Campana. So I think this, this is one of the reasons so I think they are all this is disturbing London as a criminal organization because criminal operation because of what they did. So guys, Whiskey left the management deal, Disturbing London. Now he's listed as a former artist at, at Disturbing London. So Whiskey then signed a record deal with RCA Records. He entered at a change of management in a tweet. Then on Saturday, June 13, 2018, he dragged um, Disturbing London. 
so by dragging them he wrote don't do business with disturbing london kids criminal operation wow so then on august 15 of the same year he tweeted that he doesn't need disturbing london things would be done with or without them yeah he made that tweet on august 15 of the same year so guys this is the tweet where whiskey um said she will get done with or without you and he was referring to disturbing london in the streets he made august 15 2018 yeah so after whiskey made a tweet where he said things will be done with or without disturbing london yeah then a fan replied the tweet saying that he knows whiskey is talking about disturbing london then whiskey said disturbing london and it doesn't care about them and it's never gonna be talking about them that they are criminals yeah that's pretty straightforward don't you think so so guys there's obviously a beef going on here tell me what you think about this in the comment section below i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next video and tell me what you think i i think whiskey is stressing these guys because of what happened with disturb in london Tell me what you think in the comment section below. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Bye guys. So I'm here to remind you guys to subscribe before you leave. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe right now. Thank you for watching and hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Okay. Bye guys. Subscribe.